So today we're talking about lighting and also traveling around the country for awesome film projects. Hey peeps, my name is Dino, welcome to the vlog. Recently I've been involved in a massive project involving going around the country to visit some of the fastest growing companies and gathering videos in the form of interviews and bureau and things like that to represent them through this project. Now as you know, traveling is at the top of my favorite things to do list and I just enjoyed every part of this adventure wherever we went, especially considering that at the end of that trip, we had to do a full on production for whatever the client was. So all in all, it was the ideal experience. Among other towns, we also visited Mostar, which is a big town in the south and it's always warm. And I was just thinking, man, if I already had a van, I could come here a few days in advance, find a place to park by the river, enjoy my life. And then when the crew showed up, I just, you know, pop in, we do the filming, pop out and I'm back in my van. But that story is for another day. I'm gonna be showing you examples from three different videos which are all part of the same campaign. So they pretty much have the same concept which is a lead speaker as the A-roll. Then we have a second camera as the B-roll but then we have a, a B-roll, B-roll of like shots from the company and what they do and things like that. The key part here is obviously the interviewer shot because that required the most effort. Each of these scenes was lit with three LED panels which I have here, by the way, they're just not unpacked. These are the LED panels. They're pretty small and compact. You can change the temperature and the brightness. They're very portable, also very on the budget side, which is what we talk about, obviously. But they're perfect for these kind of small or medium shot scenarios where you don't have to worry about distance or things like that. Each of these interviews was also shot on two cameras. So we had a primary camera set up in the center, just always facing the speaker and a secondary camera, which I or my colleague would be holding either handheld on a tripod or on a gimbal to get some shot of details, maybe hands moving, close-ups on the face and things like that. Usually we had a 50 millimeter on the main camera and then an 85 on the secondary camera. So actually now looking at the footage from the first video, we only used two lights for this one. We had a key light on one side and then a hair light in the back because we had a bunch of ambient light. We had big windows on either side because they have this amazing, beautiful office, just perfectly suited for work. And there was this beautiful brick wall as well as some other details, which we decided to leave in the shot and kind of complement the entire story of their company and what they were talking about in the video. As usual, the key light is about 45 degrees diagonal to the speaker as well as 45 degrees from the top, making a nice kind of Rembrandt style lighting with a little bit of a light leak triangle here. This is not precise mathematics because the person always moves, turn their face, so it really depends, but that's the average setup that I put. And then we put the backlight as close and high above them as possible to give the little light here. Now in the second company we were shooting in this little room and they had a beautiful logo of their company in the back. So I pulled out the third light and I set it to light up the wall in the back to kind of make the logo pop. It might not even be visible here, but if it wasn't for the third light, the background might have been extremely dark. And since they're also a software company, it was very similar in nature to the first one, aside from slightly different lighting. I put the subject in the opposite corner just so not all the videos are repetitive. So in the first video, they were in the left third, while in the second video, they were in the right third. Now the last video is slightly different. There wasn't so much happening in the back to use a third light to light up the back. So what I did instead is used a key light and a fill light from the opposite direction as well as the backlight. The fill light just helps the key light not be so bright and brings out the shadows on the opposite side of the face just a little bit. Now it would be great if we had soft boxes for these but soft boxes are huge, a big hassle to set up and use and also they would significantly diminish the power of the LED panels which are not so strong to begin with. If you think these light setups work for these interviews, give this video a thumbs up because it means a lot to me. While we were in Mostar, I also took some drone shots of their building and various elements around it, kind of to add a little cherry on top of the video because in the other cities, we didn't really have a chance to do that. Speaking of which, just the other day, I read that um, drone law policy is gonna be much more strict in the upcoming year. So I'm gonna have to revisit the whole drone piloting thing and how it's gonna affect affect us um, filmmakers in the future. If you're interested in more educational content on this topic, um, feel free to subscribe wherever the button is, I guess. 
over there, over there somewhere. Oh, and another thing that's worth mentioning, I did grab this little photo of the lake while on my way to Moss Star that day. Um, it didn't seem like anything special at the start, but it got pretty good engagement on my social media, so I just wanted to share that because I'm proud of little moments like that. Thank you guys for sticking it out and bearing it with me through yet another video. I have lots of things coming up, including um, the whole TikTok situation and how it's gonna be faring with the new apps that are trying to replace it as well as some gear changes and just the usual things you tend to see on on photographer slash videographer uh, channels like mine thank you guys for watching i'm gonna see you guys next week now i have to return my um spider web of lights